on YouTube welcome back to the channel so today I am adding a boost gauge to my 2010 Peterbilt 386 with the Cummings ISX um, the 12 liter or 12.5 I'll look right now anyways you can do this to any engine it doesn't matter it could be a new truck or old truck if you already have a boost gauge skip this video or don't skip the video hit the like button subscribe but yeah, so I'm adding a boost gauge because my truck does not have a boost gauge. And I'm going to be putting it right there. In this spot right there. Yes, sir. Um, the brand that I got is on Amazon. It's called... Uh, if I can get this. Truck Meter. That is the part number. Turbo Boost 50 PSI. Um, I paid, I want to say maybe 80 bucks. Now, the reason why I got this one, which you guys could go with a, um, a glow shift gauge, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you guys have up, to, have up to at least 50 PSI on boost or more, depending on what type of tune you have. But I don't think you should be exceeding uh, even 40. I mean, I don't know. That's just me. But the reason why I went with this one because it kind of matches the other gauges, like the way it looks. Um, the only difference is that this is not um, chrome. I mean, this is fake chrome, you know. But, um, yeah, maybe I could probably find a cover that I could add on. I don't know. Maybe I'll look on Amazon. But I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to get this uh, gauge. Um the same one it's very easy it is mechanical not electrical only thing that you have to do for electrical is for it to light up and it's literally two wires um so that's that that's what the gauge looks like and uh sorry about the mess i haven't cleaned out my truck yet you know i just got back home last night so it comes with all the good stuff like i said the wiring it's a plug, but like I said, it's literally power and ground. So up to you where you want to mount the power up. The ground, that's up to you as well. Uh, it does come with instructions. How to wire it up. And it tells you how to mount it. Which I'll show you guys where I'm mounting mine at. And then the gauge came in like this. The front cover like that. So I'm going to use this, this part right here, as a template. So I'm gonna put it up right there, trace it out, and then I'm gonna um, cut it. So um, this is this part is very handy. This little cardboard box. So that's that. Um, yeah. So uh, also, let me get up here. Uh, so I am mounting mine on the intake side that's what it says i believe you could mount it on the turbo the actual turbo um i didn't see any spots that i could mount it but if you guys know a way to mount on your turbo anywhere it's probably how you get your best reading um on boost but i mean this one's also a good option so I'm doing on the intake side, the intake manifold. Um, I have a port here, and I have another port right here that I could use. Um, and I literally already took your, took this one off already. Plain and simple. Um, you'll need an H6 Allen socket. That's what I did. So that's that. And then comes with the hose and fittings. And as I was letting my GoPro charge, um, I've already added a uh, Teflon tape. Now, when I took off this plug, which is that one right there. All right, not sure what happened to my GoPro. Decided to uh, not die. It was, it was weird. Anyways. So, um, yeah, when I took off this plug, it's doing the same thing too. it's recording anyways i can't really see now on the back side um anyway so i took out that plug it came with this little 
rubber, this little um, O-ring. So I just added on to this one. Um, you don't have to, but the Teflon tape I would recommend because I don't want to have no air leaks. So that goes right there. And I'm going to tighten that up. Um, that goes with the uh, 916. So I'm going to tighten that up right now. It's hard to use one hand. Like I said, you don't have to do that. O-ring. I'm just doing it just because I don't want to have no air leaks. Okay. That's good enough. It's tight, I believe. And then I have this elbow, which will come with different things. You guys can do a run a straight line. Um, like I said, there's that fitting. It's all because of a good amount of fittings to use. Um, I'm using this quick connect elbow. That's the reason why I like this option because it was a quick connect and uh, was anything crazy. You know what, let me tighten this up a little more. I'm just scared that the boost will. No, that's pretty tight. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So I added Teflon tape on this too. Um, I will need a wrench for this one. But yeah, so then that's that. Um, the air hose. I am running it through the airline, the box. Um, I did find the little plugs. Now, I am gonna drill the center of this plug out. I took it out of the truck. It's in the truck, let me get it. Now, you guys don't have to do this. I just wanna do it for a cleaner look. So this plug, um, it looks like it's the same size right here as the air hose. So I'm gonna drill it out and I'm gonna run the air hose through this. So it just gives it a nice cleaner look and um, you don't see that gap like you do on that hose up there. So yeah, um, like I said, you don't have to. You can just run like that or find any other place where you can run the hose through. Um, I probably could have ran the hose through here, but I'm going for that clean look, you know. Um, yeah, I ain't gonna make it look ghetto. That, I guess, um, eh, whatever, you know. You know what I mean. I just want to have a good clean look, you know. It's my truck. Um, I want my truck to look good. I want my truck to stand out, and yeah, I just want the best for my truck. Anyways, so that's that. So I'm gonna tighten up this elbow. Then I'm gonna run, I'm gonna drill this out, like I said. So the airline could go through here and I'm gonna run the airline through that port, which will be the inside of the cab. And then um, I will have to take off the front cover of the dash, which is up here. Very simple. I'll show you guys that in a little bit, but let me do what I'm gonna do right now and then I'll be back with you guys. All right guys, so this is where I'm at. I did the hole for the gauge. I wanted it right there. Um, I did have to use my hole I don't call it a hole saw, a hole saw, whatever. Um, it's a little attachment you uh, put to your drill bit and it makes a perfect hole. Um, I used a 54 millimeter, which is what's going to fit this. Once I put on the other side and then I ran the airline through there. I did do the drill bits, which I'll show you guys right now. Uh, you guys will need a hole saw or something. This, well, depending on what truck, this one is uh it looks like it's like plastic but it's actually a thin layer of uh sheet metal look so you're gonna yeah i gotta clean that that's gonna make a mess i gotta vacuum all that up um yeah but anyways let me show you guys so i ran the airline you see the hose is right here i still haven't ran it up yet so it's right here but let me pop open up this this hood uh, show you guys so like i said i was going for a clean look this is what i'm working with i got the elbow it's going up now i could have gone with the cleaner look i could have put in it right there 
on that plug but it is what it is I added it there I'm gonna add one zip tie up here so it holds it up a little bit higher and then remember that little plug I actually drilled it out so it runs straight in there doesn't have a nasty hole like that one like that black airline this one so cleaner look and then um sorry I got dirt in sand in my crocs um before I drilled out this hole I made sure there's nothing back here I don't want to tangle up any electrical so I took off the screws um this my truck it has one two three four uh phillips screws right here and i was able to take this out so now that's done um now i'm gonna take off this panel because i need to run the electrical and i want to run the electrical onto one of these gauges so whenever i turn on these lights that one will light up too um yeah that's about it so that's where i'm at right now so i'm gonna hook up that um well, i'm gonna install the gauge i did add the little fitting back here um use teflon tape guys i used it right there for the mechanical side for a reading of the boost and i'm gonna install that run the wires um i'll show you where i ran it like i said it's just a one positive one ground if i could find a ground in here somewhere and run the positive off one of these wires that's what i'm gonna do so i'll show you guys that in a little bit all right guys so she's all done she's all wired up so right now she's on the off i hit one of my my light switches so it'll be either my headlights or my uh, uh clearance lights or sam or running lights whatever you want to call it there you go she's on so these light up too that one's lit up too the only thing i don't like and i'm gonna be honest about it is that it's a bright white led instead of an amber like these um gauges are so i mean hey it is what it is um i will be going down so obviously i ain't gonna get a boost just fucking sitting still and being on idle so i'm gonna drive it around and then i'll have somebody record it while i'll see the boost gauge uh build up so yeah so all i did was i i got it powered to uh so for some reason the black which is so stupid the black is a power and the white is a ground so i do have like a little fuse box so i just added to one of the ground terminals for those big uh, fuse relays so that's for the ground which is good you will need a, a good ground a good good ground um i found a power which i honestly could have used the same thing i could have just um went into the fuse but i found the power um well the reason why i went with this one is because whenever i turn on these lights i want that light up so that's the reason why i went with this so um yeah so that's pretty much it and i was gonna put everything back um clean out my truck and yeah so i will continue the video once i put everything back and i take it on the drive obviously i'm going to clean out my truck but yeah so i will be back guys 75 bucks for or $78 for the gauge, boost gauge. I recommend it, guys. I recommend it. Like I said, I'll put a link down below on what brand I got. That way, you guys will want to get the same one. Like I said, it does have the same style of look as my other gauges. It's just that when it lights up, it's a white LED. It's not an amber.
see where it would get me at Bruce. I think Bruce, I was getting like 25 PSI on 10th gear. Or, yeah, well, not going to 10th, and once I got to 10th, it dropped. So, um, I'm not sure what I'll, I'll boost that once I'm in 10th gear all the way. So, Hopefully it makes you want to buy a boost cage if you haven't already have one. But if you guys ever buy a truck and it gives you guys the option of buying or including a boost cage, I, I recommend it. I recommend it by far. Uh, it's gonna solve your guys' questions, when you guys have problems down the road. And uh, yeah, I just recommend it. So if you guys even have a newer truck, older truck, doesn't matter what type of truck, buy one, install it. It'll, answer your question did we have problems so that goes guys smash that like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out